Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Monica Wada and this is Wada Wonderful World. Today I'm making a little bit of a complicated recipe. A French macaroon. <laughs> about this recipe is no waiting time so this is just perfect for me especially having children <laughs> it is quite hard the, the waiting time for all the recipes that I've tried before I confess that I have waited up to two hours to be well in such a humid country I find that the macarons take too long to dry it's just a perfect recipe I really hope you have a go I'm gonna show you how I make them so let's get started you need 117 grams of icing sugar and 71 grams of almond meal. The bigger lumps that are left when I'm finished sieving, leaving them in or taking them out makes no difference in my experience. You see this time I'm leaving them in. Adding 30 grams of caster sugar. Keep the yolks for the filling. Heating on a low speed for two minutes. And then increase the speed to medium for an extra two minutes. And finally increase to high speed to finish the last two minutes. I'm adding about half a teaspoon of the raspberry flavored essence and a little bit of red food coloring paste. I'm showing how to fold the batter because I didn't have a tripod then. I'm holding the camera with my hand and folding with the other. So this is just the movement that I did going around the bowl and then um, sort of like squashing the mixture in the middle and you need to do that 37 times and it doesn't matter if the mixture is not like that running lava consistency because it's not supposed to be so if you just do that movement 37 times the mixture will be ready I'm using a snap lock bag that I normally use to do the pipe the hole doesn't have to be very big, I just snip about a, a centimeter of the corner of the bag. It's a good idea to get everything ready before you start. I only chose to draw smaller circles because I wanted smaller macarons, but you can choose on whatever size suits you. Everyone has their own preferred way for piping macarons. I just hold the piping bag in one place and I pipe them on the baking paper. Just try not to put them too close to each other because you have to tap them on the bench to get the air out and they will spread out a little bit. I tap them on the bench a few times until I see all the air coming out. The temperature has to be low to make the French Celsius. To turn the tray around once to make sure that they bake evenly. I need to open the oven, touch them two minutes before the 13 12 minute time. I always check them, I move them a little bit, and if they're not moving, that means they're ready. that I find time always varies for me. Checking it really works because I will know if it's actually done. Let the macarons cool completely before you remove them from the baking paper. Give the egg yolks a little mix. Then add a quarter cup of caster sugar. Keep stirring until the mixture thickens. While the mixture is still hot, keep adding the butter slowly. Do I have to do this? 
mix it. Okay. Mix it, mix it, mix it. It's getting sticky. 